quick note before we start this video. In the description below, there is a Google Forms link that basically you should go follow and answer because that link will help me build my best moments of 2017 video. Uh, so yeah, basically go t take the survey. There's a little video clip at the beginning that basically tells you what you do, although it's pretty self-explanatory. So go do that. It's in the description below. Do that now. Hey guys, I'm here today with another random sort of vlog style video because they're easy to make and I don't have a whole lot of time because I'm still dealing with my hard drive as you saw last week. So, what am I doing today? Well, thanks to Emerson, I have a new PC, so I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff with that. But before I actually start doing anything else, I'm gonna show you inside the PC and show you the specs and stuff. So, let's get going. So this is the PC, it's a Dell. XPS, I believe 630i is what the BIOS said. Uh, it has a Q6600 down here under this little tower cooler with some heat pipes. Um, it has a GT, uh, sorry, it has an NVIDIA 9800 GTX Plus as for the GPU. Uh, I could put the Quadro in it if I really wanted to, but you know, I'm good. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive that I added here. There we go. It's a 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, an optical drive, which is what I'm using to uh, install Windows up there. See, Windows installing. Uh, anyways, so that's really it. it. It's it's a proprietary board. Oh, it has six gigabytes of RAM. Forgot to mention that. Hold on, let me grab the light so you can actually see there. There you go, six gigs of RAM, and the chipset has its own little heatsink with a fan. How crazy is that? That's kind of cool. There we go. It's a 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, an optical drive, which is what I'm using to uh, install Windows up there. See, Windows installing. Uh, anyways, so that's really it. it it's, it's a proprietary board. Oh, it has six gigabytes of RAM. Forgot to mention that. Hold on, let me grab the light. So you can actually see there. There you go. Six gigs of RAM. And the chipset has its own little heatsink with a fan. How crazy is that? That's kind of cool. So yeah, basically what I'm up to right now is I'm installing Windows, which is why I have the keyboard and mouse here. So on my computer over here, I am working on uh, moving stuff from the hard drive still. So here's how we stand so far uh, with the windows installed. Whoops, wrong way. Derp. There we go. Yeah. So that's how we stand so far with the windows update. Or install, I should say, not update. Whoa, windows needs to restart. Restarting in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yes, it's restarting. Of course floppy disks have failed. I should honestly just disable that in the BIOS, but you know, that would make too much sense to do that right now, so I'm not going to. It says, just a moment. I'm waiting just a moment and you're not doing anything. Hi Cortana. Are you really here to help though? Uh, this PC doesn't have a Wi-Fi card, so this isn't gonna work. Should I be having audio here? Probably should. Okay, let's connect that. Oh, look at that! What was that? Cortana, what was that? Oh, I forgot I can't use this. Yeah. Oh wait, I don't have a mic either. Crap! Okay, mic has been connected. Ah. Uh, I'm using my Meteor mic, which I'm pretty sure is driverless, but it might not be. Yes. No. Yay, it, it does work. Ethernet, not connected. Let's skip this. Yay. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. 
Looking forward to helping out. Oh, well, that's great. Oh, yay, it's this creepy thing. Yay. I mean, it's not like I was planning on turning off my PC. Yep, it probably will take several minutes. I also need to adjust the resolution because this is driving me absolutely mad. Hey, look at that! It's done things. Okay, first things first. Settings. Uh, display. Resolution. Why can't I go all the way up to 1080p? Keep changes. My monitor is freaking out. Hmm, this is weird. Oh, I probably need GPU drivers. Derp. Look at that. We have ourselves a fully functional PC. I'm gonna get on a PC, uh, another PC that has internet, and I'm going to get drivers for everything and install them using the USB key. So, let's get back to that. So the GPU drivers are downloading, but we have a slight problem because, oh wait, it's not here. Hold on, let me scroll. Uh, it would be here. We go there. And it loads. Hurry up. Do things. Uh, the newest OS available for things, like for the, for the motherboard and whatnot, is Windows 7. And I'm running Windows 10. Which is quite a big problem. So I guess I'm just gonna go without motherboard, but drivers and just get drivers for everything else and hope it works fine <laughs> so i have installed the nvidia drivers now uh and that's all i'm gonna do tonight because it's getting kind of late uh it's it's almost 10 o'clock so i'm gonna go to bed now and tomorrow i'm gonna finish things up and hopefully i'll have a completely 100 percent functional pc tomorrow so that's fun so it's the next day December 14th uh, that I'm filming this, uh, and today I don't think we're gonna get that much done. I think all I'm gonna end up doing today is using my little USB key here that, look carefully, is in fact a key, if it would focus carefully, is in fact an actual key. So I'm going to be taking that and using that to install the drivers for everything else except for the GPU. I did that yesterday, I don't think I filmed it, sorry. Uh, so today is audio and motherboard and BIOS and USB and basically everything else drivers. So let's, uh, let's power on the computer here. Focus, so let's power it on. Fans go full throttle. And then monitor clicks on and everything's totally fine. Okay, we're in. Ooh! Blue screen. K mode exception not handled. Okay, Google. What does the K mode exception not handled error mean? This error means you're having a hardware driver issue. A blue screen of death is the error screen you see when Windows has a major issue. Yes, Google, I knew that. So basically, it's telling me, you know what, okay, let's finally change this stupid driver error. See, there's lights in this computer. How cool is that? It's lights in an OEM computer. Oh, is it gonna blue screen again? That is 100% possible. It is not going to blue screen again. Yes, that's fun. I don't have a Wi-Fi card for this thing, so. That's why it doesn't actually have my account, and it just says my name. <laughs> Shove it in the front panel, right there. Okay, it's connected. Shut it, Windows. Just open File Explorer and do what I tell you. Okay, USB key. Uh, let's delete those because I don't need those. Yes. Yes. Except driver. We don't need a start menu folder. Finish. I don't know what this is actually going to do. Start scan. 
Oh wait. It's probably it's probably not gonna find because there, there's no internet. That, that, yeah, there's no internet. So I just experienced something incredibly weird. So I'm over here working on the PC, trying to get things going so I can run some tests. And uh, well, it's restarted now, but I was just transferring some files off of hard drive and the USB key there. And it decided it was a good idea to blue screen, which it did. Uh, so now it's like freaking out because that's what happens when you blue screen. Okay, so now I'm going in for a take two on that. I'm gonna try again, uh, transferring files uh, from the drive to the computer. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this time it doesn't blue screen and freak out and then make me have to start all over again, just like it just did. I think it just blue screened again. Focus camera. Focus. Yep, blue screened. Delicious. The PC ran into a problem. Video TDR failure. Okay, Google. What does the stop code video TDR failure mean? So it looks like it's pretty much a driver failure. Which isn't fun because I know for sure that my drivers are up to date, so it shouldn't be doing that, but it is. And that's fun. And I think it may have just blue screened again. This PC might not actually work, just because I can't find drivers for it, so that's not fun. So, my original plan for this video was to be able to test things, but it looks like because there are no Windows 10 drivers. This computer is actually too unstable to realistically do anything. Um, trying to put the uh, games and stuff on it to test was too unstable, so we couldn't do that. Like, just, just dragging files onto the hard drive made it absolutely freak out and just not work. So, I guess this video is completely useless, so thanks for sticking around the end to discover that it's completely useless, hit the thumbs up button, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!